Well, I mean, I think I think it's that's the that's the key of of thriller, right? Is 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 you know, it's it, it there, there, there's not a lot of uh, you know with thrillers, it's 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 more about that edge of your seat, right? It's about keeping keeping the tension high, keeping the audience, you know, guessing as to what's coming next, the twists and turns, and 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 a captivating story, you know. And I think you've got to have some some solid actors in in and uh, to to accomplish that in a, in a great story, and um, you know. I think we're I think, I think we're there so yeah how much is Jack running away from his past and from his own mistakes um you know I mean there's and and that's kind of the you know if, if you want to start getting into the psyche of the film right I mean that's that's really kind of what you know is is uh you, you can look back and watch it and, and go wait a minute you know all this running and and hiding and stuff is actually uh, you know, is actually kind of foretelling of what he's doing. I mean, inside of his heart, you know, and inside of what he's doing in his life, you know. So it's it's not only on the screen, but it's also in depth in, in his character and his mind and what his character is doing. And so there, there's a lot of symbolism as to, you know, what's going on on the screen as to as, as to what's also being told in story. So, um, so old... Uh... I think in the collective imagination, forest and isolated forests represent places with its own law, or, uh, you know, that they're not part of uh, of our world. Is that, a, would you say that? Because the forest yeah. in the film is also its own character with its own rules, if you want. Yeah, no, for sure, for sure. And I, I and, and that's, that's really it. I mean, you're isolated, you know, there's, there's no police station to go knock on the door and be like, Hey, these guys are bullying me. I mean, it's like, you're isolated, you're on your own, you got to survive. And then the, and then the forest itself is a survival situation with that. You, you even just remove those people. I mean, it's like, it's not an easy place to, to, uh, you know, to spend the night if you don't have uh, some comforts, you know, the, the cast is kind of intense. Could you talk about it? You have great people there. Um, yeah, no, I mean, everybody came on board. I mean, when we when we first started doing this, uh, I was talking to the producer, Corey Large, and and he started naming off all these guys. And I would say, you know, 60 or 70 percent of them I had already worked with before. And so I was like, yeah, absolutely. I mean, these guys are amazing. We called them. They're like, oh, Skiba. Yeah, I'm in. I'm in. I'm in. You know, and, and then. Uh, we got, uh, you know, the, the new guys, Tom Welling and, and, um, and, and Clive and, uh, and Jesse Metcalf, you know, these guys I, I hadn't worked with before and, but, uh, but Clive, you know, day one shows up and is just, you know, in it, you know, he runs across the stream, you know, biffs it, hits the ground. And I'm thinking I'm gonna have to yell cut. He's going to hurt his knee or something. This guy get, you know, stays in character, looks up, spits jumps up and keeps running and I was like all right I have the right guy for this role you know I definitely do so um yeah I mean these guys they really it, and, and then, then it became like this like once they all saw how each one of them was just fully committed uh, um they all put it all in and, and and that's that's what drove it and the inspiration for the story um you know I mean funny enough I was I was I was asked to do an action thriller and um so I started reading a lot of scripts and this one came across my desk from a guy named Eric Bromberg and, and it's uh, Joe wrote it and, and I read it and I was like, well, that's interesting. You know, and you don't see a lot of forestry kind of films, you know, based on logging and stuff. And so, um, and then, um, you know, it, cause I read the one sheet first and then I got into the script and I was like, wow, this thing is really action packed. It's written. Well, it's not going to take a lot of rewriting on my end. And, um, and I love the twist. And, and so, um, yeah, I mean, so I, I think, um, yeah, I think that's what attracted me to it. Mm -hmm. So how much would you say King Cut is a, is a story of a redemption or more revenge or both? I don't know. <laughs> um, you know, I, I think it's both. I think it's a hundred percent both. I mean, I, I think Jack knows, I mean, he knows when he leaves, he leaves, uh, uh, you know, when, when he leaves to go out to, to be a logger, so quote unquote, um, he knows there's, there's not, not come, there's no coming back, you know? And so I think he knows that he's going to have to, um, that, that, you know, it's like, like it's the old adage when you go on revenge, dig two graves, you know? And so he, he knows that, 
um, he's seeking redemption, I would say, from his wife, giving her peace. But at the same point, he's going to go get revenge. But then he's going to also um, find peace in his soul, you know. And so, um, yeah. I understand that. Uh, well, how how dangerous was it to do all those explosions for real without? You know, <laughs> it was scary um, when I read that the, you guys did it for real. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah, yeah. No, we we I I enjoy practical effects a lot. And actually, if you watch one of the scenes. I'm one of the I'm one of the stunt guys on fire, you know, and so it's like, um, you know, and so I, I I really enjoy practical stunts, practical effects, you know, I, I I do a lot of stunts in my films, you know, typically every film I do, I'm like, I have a rule, I have to get killed. So, um, and so it's, it's kind of like a little Easter egg, but, um, you know, I mean, it's, it's, it's all about the safety, you know, it's, it's all about having the right people in the right positions and, and, trusting those people that they're doing their jobs right and and um and then ha the experience that i had i can look and see if somebody's not doing it right and then be like wait 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 you're you know let's let's slow down here and take a minute but um you know it's it, it's fun when it all comes together uh, but uh, when uh, you do it for real this kind of sequences uh, for real the film i mean i felt it was more authentic even though effects are great when you see that it's a craft made is uh gives you a different feeling i guess yeah yeah no i i agree with you and, that, and that's why I, I strive for that as much as i can I, I have a lot of producers come in and they're like oh we'll cg that we'll visual effects here we'll fix it in post and and i always push for real squibs real blanks real explosions you know and it's it's not popular at this time especially with with alec you know but it's 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 one of these things where it's like that's that's filmmaking and 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 if and if you really do stick to the safety guidelines you'll be all right 